Early last year, Science Daily and other news sites had a story on potentially curing diabetes in the future. But before I explain the science behind it, let's take a look at what happens when Bobby eats. Bobby will take that for you. A lot of our food contains a sugar called glucose. Glucose travels through our blood, but it needs to be utilized by our body cells. To do this, glucose needs a special chemical called insulin to gain access. Insulin acts as a key and helps give energy into the cells that need glucose to power them up. Briefly, there are two main types of diabetes. The first type causes a lack of insulin. The second type, which is the most common in the UK, is where insulin can't function properly. It's a faulty key. Essentially, in both types of diabetes, glucose builds up in the blood. The star of our show is the pancreas. It's an organ that helps with breaking down our food and also makes special hormones. Insulin, which we've seen before, and glucagon. The Islet of Langerhans is a fancy name for the factory that makes these hormones. There are different types of cells here, alpha, beta, and even delta. From the cited article, alpha cells are commanded to make glucagon. That is their cell identity. They keep this identity by listening to signals from neighboring cells. Beta cells make insulin. If beta cells are missing or damaged, alpha cells can adapt if they notice that beta cells aren't working properly. In this way, alpha cells can change their identity and help people with diabetes. They make more insulin to control their high blood sugar. This was conducted in mice, but hopefully it can be applied to us in the future. This research lab is potentially starting to create a new form of treatment for diabetes, where the body can produce its own insulin with some additional help. This could even help treat other diseases like Alzheimer's and heart problems. This video was produced during the COVID-19 pandemic. Remember, stay home, stay safe, save lives.